He's got that sparkle in his eyes that makes it look like he's about to cry. <laughs> what? So I was just casually scrolling through my subscriptions the other day and um, came across this video. And I'm a nerd. I love behind the scenes stuff, seeing people set up. So I clicked on it and... First, we're going to check out Dan TDM. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> PewDiePie reacted to my setup, so um, I haven't watched it yet, so I thought I'd react to it with you guys because I don't know what video he's watched, but the setup has definitely changed since then. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you what's changed and see what the big man thinks of it. Also, if I sound weird, it's because I got, I got I got invisible braces now. Jeez. So my S is... Come on. My S is... might sound weird. <laughs> don't bully me. First, we're going to check out Dan TDM. Hey, that's me. 19 seconds into the video, and I'm ready to get scrutinized. I'm scared. Hmm, has this changed? Yeah, this has changed already. <laughs> okay, let's see what he says. It's a ton since last time, and since I've started streaming. His uh, videos look really good. Okay, let's not be cringe. I'm glad he thinks my videos look good, because I am always super critical about my own videos. I'm like, I'm sure they could look better. Even now, I'm like, I'm sure they could still look better, right? <laughs> So that's good. He has the camera a little really high up, which I don't like. Okay, I wonder if he was going to say that, because I don't like having my camera this high either. I'd rather have it, like, eye level, but it'll be interesting to see in his setup where his monitor is. So let me explain. So many people don't do this. So this is where I sit, right? So my monitor is here. The camera's right in front of my face right now. So many people have their monitors, like... All the way down here. What are you doing? It just looks so weird. No, I don't know about you, but I like my neck. I like my back. If you're gaming like this, your neck is like, like this. By the time you're 60, you're going to be like this. If I had my monitor this low, I could easily put my camera so much lower, which I would actually prefer, but you can see it right there. I have it as high as it can go. Maybe a little bit lower. Because it's just way more comfortable. Does no one else think that? Is that just really boomerish of me? <laughs> Probably. I like to speak down to you guys. If I, if I, if I <laughs> had to choose, I would shoot all my videos like, like this. How's it going, bros? I kind of like that, actually. <laughs> it makes you look taller, too. Which, to be honest, we both need. Felix, we, we both need. My camera is different now. I have a different camera. I have a Sony a7 III. I only had an a7 before, which is what I'm using as my second camera. I didn't think just changing the camera would be such a big change, but it is. If you can, do it. He's got that sparkle in his eyes that makes it look like he's about to cry. <laughs> what? That's to make you all feel sorry for me, so you subscribe. Don't make me cry. I'm, I'm always on the verge of it. Look at the sparkle in my eyes. You see it? Don't make me cry. Subscribe. Why now? Uh, how do you get that, Dan? He's got how do I get it? Uh, two key lights. I hate having bright lights on my office. I have ceiling mounted ones right here and right here, but I don't use them anymore because they got too hot. So I've got two Elgato key lights with extra diffusers on top. So I took the diffusers from these lights and put them on these ones. I am a gamer. I don't like being in sunlight. I like having a dark office. These lights are on like 2% or something. I don't know. Just be on the verge of tears every time you record a video, I guess. I don't know what to say. He's got the Shure microphone. A lot of people have this microphone. I think Ken has it too. It's supposed to be really good. So many people have the microphone. Not anymore. <laughs> I'm going to let you into a little secret. And it's embarrassing. I, I, I follow audio production, right, for music. And this, for singers, vocal tracking and everything, is great. If you have it right here, if you have it right here, it's a fantastic microphone. And to be honest, the embarrassing part is I bought it because everyone else bought it. I was like, oh, it has to be good. No, not for me. I don't like having the microphone in my camera space. So most streamers and stuff have their microphone like here. Which sounds really good, actually, but I hate it. it. It drives me mad. So that's why I have my mic arm, like, really low. It's really low compared to everyone else's. But I don't like having the microphone in my face, so I got myself the Neumann TLM 102. And this right here, this is beautiful. It does everything I wanted to, straight out of the box. It records vocals incredibly well, acoustic guitar if you wanted to as well. It's an amazing microphone. Right, what's next? I'm seeing Go XLR. We need to talk about this too. Every YouTuber in the motherfucker has the Go XLR. I refuse to buy that thing. <laughs> don't, don't, don't buy it! Don't do it! Okay, I might have gone a little bit too far for that. It's, it's 
it's okay. <laughs> Let me calm down. I just wanted to prove to you that I don't have it attached anymore. This Go XLR. I bought this because it's really good at routing audio, but I don't really stream that much anymore, and I found a different way to do it. So, um, I don't need this anymore. To get super nerdy, real quick, I don't like the mic preamps on this thing. It makes microphones sound really thin. There's not much power to them compared to what I'm using now, which is my old Focusrite. So, I've got rid of it. It's gone. Yeah, you don't need one of these. They're okay. The support's not very good. The drivers aren't very good. <laughs> I didn't even end up using it. I was like, oh, I can I can move all the faders. That'd be sick. While I'm streaming, I can look really professional and then change all my sounds. Turns out I just set them all in one place and left them. So I wasn't even using that. So I, I got rid of it and I've got so much more desk space now. <laughs> I didn't like it. It's a cool product, but I didn't like it. It's way too big. I'm not gonna... Told you! It's huge. It's got the Sony a7. I have that. Yep. Upgraded to the a7 III and the same lens. I think the same lens is on it. How is this cable situation, Dan? Oh, no, 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 no. We're not going. Are we going? Is he he's scrolling through the video to see the cables? Show us your cables, Dan. Do I show him the cable? Oh, God. When I redid my office and shot this video, the cable management was so good. But because I like switching things up and changing things all the time, I've changed my monitor again. I've changed my audio interfaces. I've changed a lot of stuff. That doesn't go well with cable management. Let me show you. Just sneak a little look under under his face. Yeah, there's my cables. Look at them. Go cry a little bit. I know you want to. Look at them. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh, no. That's so bad. I tried, all right? I tried. And then I started taking things apart. And when I started taking things apart, I was like, this isn't practical. I want to switch things out all the time. So I gave up. You can't see it, which means it doesn't exist. Well, now, now you know it exists. And judge me if you want. This wall back here. Oh, he's got a really good setup. It looks really nice. It looks cozy. It looks... It is cozy. See, look at the cable management there. So good. It's like a really cozy setup. I really like it, actually. Thank you. Oh, he likes it. Yes. The studio is officially YouTuber approved. I like it. Okay, cool. Hopefully that's cleared up some of the things about my setup that have now changed. I want to show you something else, too. And then we'll react to his setup because I'm genuinely super interested. So this is where my Go XLR used to be. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at all that space for things. But now I do a lot of music, so... I've got another Scarlet interface, a DI box. All my guitars are down there, and that's pretty much it. Guys, I've actually been using my spare time to do other things that I love too, like music. It's crazy, I know, I know. But I think I'm now really happy with my setup. I say that, but I could upgrade it at some point, who knows. But now I just switch it on, and it works, and it does everything. It does YouTube videos, it does streaming, and it also does music production as well. The three things that I need. Oh, I changed my chair too. You know, I was talking about that neck and back support. I went and got the Logitech Herman Miller, baby. That's right. No more gamer chairs for me. Technically, this is one. It has a butt pad, which means you don't sweat as much. <laughs> and crazy bag support. So um, this is 10 times better than any leather gaming chair. Hey, when I'm not curled over like this by the time I'm 60, I'll appreciate this nerdy boomer stuff. Let's see the setup real quick. Here we go, here yeah. we go, here we go, let's see. That's too close. <laughs> Ooh, we were talking cozy. What is this? That is a robot arm. Look at the monitor. I've only just realized, holy, that is, no wonder he's got a robot arm holding it up. Oh my God. That thing is ridiculous. Oh my god. That is insane. But what did I say? What did I say? You're gonna have Boomerneck. His monitor is so low. Boomerneck! Boomerneck incoming. You watch. When we go revisit, do the return of like OG YouTubers when we're all 75, I'm gonna have the best neck. The straightest neck, the most motion in my shoulder blades. Trust me. Anyway, let's keep going. That is clean though. Zero cables apart from the only ones you need. That's wild. On only runs one PC still as well, which is uh, super interesting. You don't need two PCs, but it just... I feel like it throws up less errors and headaches because your PCs are doing separate things. But it doesn't do a lot of gaming videos anymore, so I guess that doesn't really matter. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Such a big monitor. I actually would love that. I've only used a curved monitor once and I own one now at my other house and I love it, but his curved monitor is like three times the width of mine. Do I need to, do I need to change my setup again? No, don't make me do it, please. Don't make me get the widescreen. We're moving to Japan. I'm not going to buy another computer. Oh yeah. How do you ship a, a monitor that big to Japan? That's crazy. I've noticed that. Why are you looking up mischief or prank in Japanese? Hmm? Hmm? You know, considering I started making videos on like, you know, an HP laptop. <laughs> oh, that's old school. Is that the same room though? That looks like the same room with the big mirror or maybe it's the same mirror. That's what my cables look like now. <laughs> So what's interesting is I did the same. We have these crazy setups now because let's be honest, we can we can afford it now. But you don't need to have all this crazy stuff to start off. I used to I bought a 30 pound computer, which was made for literally doing word documents. And then I bought a graphics card that was too big. So I had to run it with the computer open. I, I actually, I don't recommend that. That doesn't sound safe. But that's what I used to render my videos. My videos used to take like four or five hours to render. It was ridiculous. <laughs> You guys are usually over there and uh, it doesn't cover up all my face. I feel like a lot of YouTubers, yes. they do like this. They have like the camera there and it's like, hi guys, here's me. And I'm like, it sounds great, but it, it looks stupid. <laughs> That's exactly what I said earlier. It makes so much more sense. I don't know why more people don't use these kind of style microphones. The shotgun ones. Put it on top of your monitor and no one has to see your microphone. Like that. Much better. That keyboard's Let's sick. Hey, that's uh, that's some strong RGB action right there. He has a sword. No, you don't, because YouTube deleted the video. But it, it's real. Maybe I should get some more weapons. I have zero weapons. I should get some. And there you go. That is me reacting to PewDiePie, reacting to my sub. Uh, I'll leave the video in the description below. You've probably already seen it. I really like a sub. I'm, I'm really jealous of the huge screen, but I run two PCs, so I'm going to need to run another screen at least. I need extra weapons. I need maybe some robots. I'll make a list. Anyway, hope this is interesting. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're brand new. And I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye.